wave motion episode of Toy, Toy Tengoku. Tengoku. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From Hobby Link Japan. Yes. Absolutely. And you're Robin. <laughs> and you're Harness. Yes. And we're out here in the warehouse and it's really, really hot out here. So. Yeah. So our brains were a tiny bit cooked. But it also is hot out here because there's some hot new stuff out here. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. We and we are going to look through it with wave motion-like excitement. Woo! <laughs> Yeah. What is that you have in your hands there, Arda? Why, this is the this is the new one one thousandth Yamato twenty one ninety nine from Bondi, which we spoke about last last episode, episode, yes. episode before last. Yeah, and we just wanted to remind you about the fun, exciting thing on the back with the Mecha Collection Dessler Tri Deck Carrier Box. You have to destroy your box to be yeah. able to do anything yeah. with it. But there were some doubts that this was a Mecha Collection item, mm -hmm. but indeed it says. Mecca collection. Yeah, so right there. We just wanted to remind folks of this exciting thing. Yeah. From Bondi's new 1 1,000th scale Uchu Senkan Yamato Space Battleship Yamato. Thank you, Bondi. Yay! Woohoo! So this is one of the many things that we have out here in the A section. Yeah. Uh, here's one right now. This is from God Eater Burst. Yes. She burst when you eat too many gods or, or something. She's I'm going to have to look on the back of the box to read her name because I can't read Cyrillic. It says here, Arina... Alisa. Ari, Ari, Arisa, you're right. Arisa Irinichina. Ili, Ili Inichina. Yeah. Omela. Amiera. Omela. Omera. Amiera. I'm sure there's a bunch of different ways to say that and spell that. Amiera. Amiera. Okay. Yeah. She's from Plum. Wow. She looks, and she looks really awesome. Pretty Plum perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Is She's she? quite amazing. There's an illustration of her on the on the back and on the side of the box. So she's based on that illustration and she looks really fabulous. She's kicking monster butt and taking names and looking wow. fabulous while she does She's it. She's got some attitude. All right. Really rocking that school girl, school girl skirt look. Making it look amazing. <laughs> I think she forgot the rest of her outfit though, gee. Well, that's okay. It gets hot fighting those monsters. So she's cool. She's one of the many awesome new things that we have. This is how we get things from the uh, manufacturers. We just get them by the box fulls. Big and then box. we just open the box and take them out and off they go to your order. So. Yeah. Okay, let us see what else we have here. There's some more figures over here. All right. And... Oh, these are some uh, new ones from Nichi Joe. These are some... Uh, I'll give you this one. Oh, okay. And I will take the other one. These are some uh, game prize items from Sega. Oh, yeah. Very cute. And game prize items are nice because they're affordable. Yeah, plus if you win them in the game, in, in the game, they've usually punched out the yeah. things on the side yeah. so that you can, you know, hook it with your yeah. jobby. And these are pristine. More or less, yes. They're yeah. perfect and wonderful. And yeah. we don't poke out the things on the sides. I think we should show these uh, things from uh, a cell world here, here too, because oh, I know a cell world is. They're right here. Oh, okay. Well, let me reach that for you. There's Grab the that. purple box for me because the, the purple, purple box. box the purple box is uh, a very pretty figure. These are avatar figures. Yes, it says. They're, 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 these are the characters' avatars in the game that you see in the SL World anime. And uh, got the lovely young woman in the black goth butterfly outfit and this adorable thing and her Neko Mimi outfit with the kitty ears and kitty paws and kitty tail. And like these are also UFO catcher toys. Oh, they are? Yeah. But they're they're really. I didn't nice. realize until I was turning yeah, it and saw yeah. that these these are really yeah. nice. The I box, these the were box like regular looks release like, yeah. things. Yeah, they, they do, don't they? So those are. This is a really. This is actually a really cute show. I caught. I saw an episode of it a couple of weeks ago. I'm like this is really cute. Yeah, it's really neat. I it's saw. Really I saw well the done. hero is like this pork chop looking yeah. kid. It's like. <laughs> it's like wow. That's your hero. Oh wow. <laughs> That's cool. pretty cool. So yeah. So those are cool. Those are nice to, nice to have a look at. Oh, it's a figma. Figmas are always Figma. fun. This is Chie Satonaka, and uh, they've conveniently oh, wrapped yes. it for protection, which we then remove. wantonly destroy. That's right. Ha 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 ha. What you think about that? Oh, she's she's cool. 
I don't know much about Persona. It's it's a like neat, it's a very layered, very uh, very detailed game, very popular. I'm going to turn the box around so we can see some of the poses she can get into, and she comes with these cool effect parts so she can do amazing special martial arts moves and wow. kick your other Figma figures' butts if she wow. likes. Here's some more great UFO catcher figures. We've got Kirino Kosaka mm -hmm. and Kuro Neko. Kuro Neko, yes. From Ore Imo, which has the very long title. And this is, uh, are these Sega? These are Bon Presto. And these are Bon Presto. Bon Presto. Cute as can be. Again, you see the, uh, the thing to poke the, you can use the handles, the, the, the grips of the uh, claw and the claw machine to grab the figure to make it your own. Of course, if you buy it from us, you don't have to waste your time doing that. So, hey, they're cute and they're here. Right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah. Ah. <laughs> look, it's Hello Kitty meets Kiss. It even says so on the back. It even says Just so. Just in case you doubted right it. Right there. <laughs> awesome. I think, I thought this was amazing when I first heard about this. I'm like, oh, you're kidding. No way. Yes way. Here they are. Yep, here's Kitty Crust with uh, Gene Simmons. Wow, look at, the, she's even got the tongue and everything. Man. The big, long, six foot long tongue. Nice, nice cushion mm. to use on your sofa. Yeah, nice and bagged up to be. Fresh. Double wrap for freshness. Double wrap for Brought freshness. To you from Medicom. Oh, thank you, Medicom. Those crazy guys at Medicom. We got more cool stuff down here, don't we? Here's the Tony Tony Chopper. This is not the first time we've seen this, I don't think, but just in case, here it is. Woo, Chopa. From Figure Arts Zero from Bondi. Small, as you can see, and cute and portable and perfect for your collection. From What's in this big box? From Taito, we have the latest. Gloomy Bear. Gloomy Bear. Oh, look at there's Gloomy. There's Gloomy and there's Gloomy. Gloomy with a little birdie. Look at how vicious Gloomy is with the bloody claws. Rawr, and the, rawr, and the, I, I like how the blood stains are actually embroidered yeah, yeah. on. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wow. Embroidered and appliqued. You know, <laughs> has there ever been a cute, a cute plush, a plush as cute as this Gloomy Bear? That's, those are dangerous words, my friend. <laughs> you know, yeah, no. It's our friend, Melancuma. Oh no, Gloomy is taken aback. <laughs> Your Gloomy is not scared of Melancuma. Gloomy is not scared of anything. She better be scared of Melancuma <laughs> because you know it's... <laughs> fine, fine. Well, these, me and, me and you, Melancuma will just go and do our own thing. Then. These plushes are up. Again, UFO catcher prizes, and these are from Taito. And these are really cute, really well made. They're even cuddly. Aww. They're perfect for hugging. Of course, if you don't I'm mind. I'm going to hug them claws blow. out. Yeah, claws out, yeah. <laughs> now we have in the Zero Figure Arts, Figure Arts Zero line from Bondi, battle version of Nami. Battle version of Nami. Her weather staff is crackling with electric fire power stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, what's she battling? Who's she battling? I don't know. Why? It's Fire Rodan. Oh boy. This is from uh, Bondi's SH Monster Arts line. Wow. And who, seriously, who doesn't love Japanese movie monsters? I mean, and this, this, this Rodan is excellent because- He's all red and flappy. He's and all stuff. red because the fire is reflecting off of his mighty body and giant wings. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, that Rodan is probably one of my favorite favorite movie monsters. <laughs> Who would win, Nami or Rodan? Oh wow, I don't know. That's because Nami's pretty kick butt. I mean, she's just a, you know, relatively short of stature human female, but she's pretty kick okay, butt. Okay, if it was animated, she'd win. But if it yeah. was if it was Tokusatsu, if it was Tokusatsu, yeah, win. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet against Rodan. No way. What's Melankuma gotten himself into now? <laughs> he is in a pile of these Airo. Aw. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I wow. see what you did there. It's so cute. Yeah. It's Iro from Monster Hunter. And he's a convenient pillow. He's perfect to rest your neck on when you're taking a nap or playing video games. He knows what to do to keep you comfy while you're playing Monster Hunter. How about Batman? Batman! Na -na 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 -na. Okay, maybe not that Batman. Here we go. Batman, the high stage figure. 
Batman from Taito, wow. which means this is another is game another prize. Game prize. They're so yeah. amazing. Man, game prizes for, this forget, time forget the wave motion. Forget the wave motion special. This is this the is game the, prize. This is special. the game prize special for a fact. Okay, this is Batman. Hold that this still, is man. The high stage. That figure. is cool. Look at look at the look at the detail on that. Batman is just like ready to leap off that thing and go beat up on some bad guy or other. He's like standing on a gargoyle sort of yeah. deal. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Are there wow. two different gar gargoyles? No, I guess that's the same gargoyle. Yeah, yeah. Just looked at from two different. Yeah, angles. sometimes you know, game prize items there's like more than one version, but this mm. is just the one. Wow. Game prize item from Taito. We, you're our hero, Batman. Now this. This has me really excited. From Future, mm -hmm. this is the new God Phoenix mm -hmm. from Gatchaman 2. Oh boy. So this would be, Gatchaman 2 is I think like 1978 or so. Uh -huh. 78, 79? Mm -hmm. 78. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a nice, hefty, mm -hmm. this is in their EX Gokin line, so it has die cast content. Mm -hmm. And you not only get the God Phoenix, you get each of the teams, oh, the cool. Gatchaman team's wow, five that. vehicles. There they are. <laughs> there you go. Wow, that's amazing. I, I really want to get this. I, I'm getting the regular Phoenix. Uh -huh. uh, I haven't gotten mm -hmm. this yet, but wow. it just came in. And go for very it, Very nice. Go for it. Future brings us really cool things. They're doing some really neat Tatsunoko things. Mm -hmm. Like they, they're doing some Godam things. Isn't, go Whopper 5 Godam. Isn't this year the 50th anniversary of Tatsunoko Studios? You're right. Yeah, you're right. That probably yeah. explains it. And that. it's the 40th anniversary of Gatchaman. Wow. Although not And the 30th Gatchaman anniversary too. of Macross, as we've already discovered. Wow. The We're going to have to change the theme it. of this episode again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to have to be the anniversary <laughs> episode. Ultra Act. Wow. It's Dyna Ultraman Dyna Flash type. Flash. Wow. Aye. Wow. Brian should probably show this off. Oh, yeah. Our boss, Brian, he is the Ultraman fan. <laughs> He's like the Ultraman expert. Anytime we have a question about Ultraman, all you have to do is ask Brian, and he'll go, oh, yeah, this, this, this. And you're I'll like, show the back of wow, it thanks, too. Brian. <laughs> oh, okay, something we haven't seen yet. We've seen the uh, in the Chibi Arts line, mm -hmm. Bandai's Chibi Arts line, mm -hmm. uh, we saw the uh, Kaburagi T Kotetsu, uh -huh. which is Wild also Tiger. Also wired Wild Tiger. Wired Tiger. Wired but tiger. we have not seen Bunny yet, and mm -hmm. Bunny is right over there. Hey, if you he's could right reach. over here. Okay. I will just do that. I'll reach over here and grab him. Actually, it's Barnaby Brooks Jr. He's not wearing his bunny bunny suit in this particular figure. But just like the other one, really cute. Comes with a couple different facial expressions and some accessories to play with, like a, a bowl of uh, fried rice, it looks like, and a stuffed toy bunny. Other fun stuff. We're gonna turn the box around so that Ryan can see the back of the box. TV's Ryan, who's very patiently sweating with us out in the warehouse today. More great stuff. Yeah, from Kotobukiya, this is Aira. Aira Blank Neige. Start with the G. Galenius. Thank you. One eighth scale pre painted figure. You know what? She would be great for today because she is an ice goddess. Oh. And I, I definitely like the idea of maybe having somebody around who could make a shower of ice crystals fall on me right about now because that would Frosty feel the really Snowman. <laughs> okay, well, Frosty the Snowman could probably do that too. This young lady versus Frosty the Snowman. Who would win? She'd win. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Frosty the Snowman's got that magic hat. Well, unless that, that animated Jimmy around. Durandy shows up and animated <laughs> Andy Griffith and they tell oh, us the no. charming story of Frosty. Then. <laughs> this is why I like anime <laughs> and not American Christmas There's no, specials. no Jimmy Durante in anime that we've <laughs> seen yet. There may well be, but we don't know about it. We're blissfully unaware. Oh, hey, here's somebody else who's dressed for winter. Yeah? Which yeah. Guy? Okay, it might be a little bit early for Christmas, but here's, uh, here's Kriska from uh, Move Love Alternative Total Eclipse, and she's dressed up like Santa. That is, if Santa wore a red bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Only in his dreams. That's what Santa, which is, <laughs> this is Christmas look like, I'm sure. <laughs> This is, this is the Mrs. Santa Claus that, you know, Santa really would like to have. Eat, kind of Papa, Santa. eat. <laughs> no one likes a skinny Santa. <laughs> so, yeah, just in case you, you're feeling a little too warm right at the moment. Whew! And who isn't? Hey, probably for different reasons, but Kriska is here with her lovely Santa outfit. And you can display her without that Santa hat, too. So she can just be wearing, you know, the, the bathing suit. 
Oh dear. Well, and the stockings, too. I guess she has stockings on, too. Yeah, she was right there. Oh, that's her, too. Yep, there She's you go. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. Look, kids. Just like Santa. It's the Uchu no Oja set. <laughs> hey. Wow, check that out. Wow. Uchu no Oja. Grandizer. Yes, Grandizer. It's really cool because uh, some of these really neat sets like this from Bondi get reissued every so often. Uh -huh. And I wow. remember buying that years ago. Uh -huh. That was one of the first things I bought when I started at Hobby really? Japan. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, and here it is to haunt you again. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, but that's a good dream come true. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, here are some Hasegawa model kits. Oh, here we go. There we go. In the D-Arts line. Someone else from Persona 4. What? This is uh, Sakuya. Konohana. Kono Konohana Sakuya. Konohana Sakuya. She is uh, one of the actual personas of one of the characters. So this is like her freaky alter ego. And this is such a cool figure. Wow, is that like, is that like f flower petals or is that yeah, feathers? Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like flower petals. It's, it's supposed to evoke a sakura. And this one is really posable. I'm gonna turn the back, whoops, I almost dropped it there. I'm gonna turn the package around so that Ryan can see the, the back. Oh, wow, cool. And she's got those huge wing feather petal things that she can wear. And I, I would like, see, I'm no good at playing video games, but I would love to sit and watch somebody play Persona 4. Mm. And this is from the animation, so I guess I wouldn't have to worry about playing it, but. Yeah, just sit and watch TV. <laughs> hey, just sit and watch TV, it's easy. But yeah, this is, this is a really, really cool looking character. Posable so that you can make her do anything you want. Hey, look, another young lady who's not wearing a whole lot of clothing. Yeah, she is dressed for the weather, for a fact. Absolutely. This is from Queen's Blade Rebellion. This is Izumi. Izumi. You know, I think she looks quite a bit like, uh, like uh, uh, Mio out of... Uh, Kaon? Kaon, yeah, I think she looks in the face and the hair anyway. Or maybe it's Azusa. They kind of look alike to me. Maybe, maybe they're, I was going to say their love child. <laughs> <laughs> Not their love child, but what if we surgically spliced surgically the two? Surgically spliced the two together. I'm going to turn around the box here. Wow, her scarf is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of neat, this is a really well sculpted, a lot of the Queen's Blade things are well sculpted. I mean, in this spite of the fact that it's just, you know, Sometimes it can be just like TNA, but they're they're really well done. Oh, Mega House does a really yeah, really Mega good House job. really they have some really talented sculptors working for them, and this is a just an amazing sense of motion in this young lady. She's running along with her sword, and she's running with a pointy thing. That's never a good thing. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, with her uh, what would you call that? Is that a fundoshi that she's wearing? I think so. Yes. It kind of reminds you. Oh, well, with festival season going on yep. here in the heat of summer in Japan, yeah. where you see all the all the. Oji-san's wearing fundoshi. <laughs> <laughs> fundoshi and nothing behind. Ooh. <laughs> it's one way to stay cool in the summer. Absolutely. We have so much cool stuff in the warehouse. Yeah, this is, it's great to be able to come out here every few episodes and just be able to see yeah. the neat loot. Yeah. And, uh, I, but Look I at guess, all that stuff. I guess we all that stuff out there just wanting to be grabbed. But we, we shall exercise restraint. Yes. And, uh, you know, it takes a while when you work here to be able to exercise for yeah, a it does. You see just so much cool it stuff. Does. But uh, so that's going to do it for this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to get a couple of days off here for Obon because mm -hmm. it's summer vacation time now yes. in Japan. Yes. And Obon is coming up. Mm -hmm. So that's about three days where everybody goes to goes to visit where they came from, which we can't do because it's a long way off. Yeah. But yeah. along with everyone else, we can go to the beach. We can go to comic market. Yes, we, we can. We can do various things. I'm going to yeah. go to anime song concert all so right. that'll be cool and i'm uh, gonna see iso sasaki man all right it's gonna be very Good cool he sings a grandizer song grandizer is seen on my shirt is seen on your shirt it's seen on that which you know just said over there you really want that I, you? I already have it oh but if i had two i had one for each hand so that would well be there you go that very would be very cool. cool so but we will be back in uh about a week mm -hmm. and uh but we didn't get to answer any questions this time because we're on foot, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the loose in the warehouse. But uh, we will answer questions next time yes, we when we're back in the studio. In the air conditioning. Through those doors. Yes. And if you have any questions for us or any comments, mm -hmm. uh, please go ahead and, and feel free. We really appreciate anything you have yeah. to say. You can and see us on uh, hobbylink.tv. Yeah, as well as YouTube. YouTube. And you don't forget to check out Hobbylink 
Japan's Facebook page too. That's true because uh, Ryan shoots photos of the items that we look at so you mm -hmm. can see them in yeah. even further detail. Up close and personal. And uh, every so off, often we have special features on there too like all the photos that we shot at Wonder Festival a couple these weeks ago. these photos that you shot at Wonder <laughs> Festival. 300 photos. It 300 was fun. Photos. It was great, you know. You're so hardcore. Shoot everything in sight. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that's going to do it for this I think time. I going to wrap it up for this yeah, time. Yeah, so together with Melanguma. Melanguma. Melanguma is the correct pronunciation. <laughs> she told us. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you next time on, on Hobby Link Japan's, Japan's Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.